सो वेलकम फ्रेंड्स टू आर होम टेम्पल दिस इज द मेन एंट्रेंस एंड द क्वालिटी ऑफ द इंटीरियर वर्क इज एक्सेलेंट इवन आफ्टर टेन ईयर्स द पॉलिश ऑन द मेन डोर रिमेन्स इंटैक्ट इन साइड द डोर्स फीचर अ डिजाइन लैमिनेट Beside the main door there is a marble shelf. I love plants so I have placed some of these DIY planters. In our home theater the floor tiles developed fungus. So we had to replace the entire flooring. Using the leftover tiles we cut strips and made these plant holders. I have placed a total of 5 planters here. And evo is the fall ceiling. To the right is the foyer area where we have a buddha statue that is bought from home center 9 years ago. I made some alterations using an old watch box. Created a similar pattern on these three items using emsil so they look like a set. This is my favorite planter which I got from a local exhibition and I have planted a zizi plant in it. I also have this beautiful wooden peacock from home center. There is a complete wooden paneling here. On this wooden shelf, I have a DIY showpiece that I made by inverting a chimney, sealing the mouth with emsil, and using a waste wooden lid to create this planter. To prevent visual clutter, I have pasted a table runner onto this cardboard. This wall is my DIY wall. I created these three show pieces from plaster of Paris and emsil. I also used a glass chimney as a planter. Attached magnets for safety. And these three wall shelves are from Amazon. See, this wall has a textured finish and the walls throughout the home are painted in neutral colors, giving an elegant look. Below I have placed a DIY long box made from the same wooden tiles. Inside I added lights and artificial plants creating a marvelous effect. Above we have a focus light. This corner is another favorite of mine. I have placed this peacock fountain which I got at a discount price from at home. I created the background using an old plant stand stacking two sides of the planter one above the other then painting and varnishing it and tying artificial flowers for the stool below I tied artificial plants using plastic tags take a close look at its beauty This is a marble vase. And this side there is a wooden paneling for the wall. There is a curved design on the floor that is mirrored by the wooden ceiling. Overall, my entrance creates a soothing effect with warm lights, plants and fountain and various DIYs. To the left of the entryway is the living space separated by this divider. This design is common now but was innovative 10 years ago. This is again a DIY planter. We have a tall TV unit with wooden paneling. In one corner is a DIY showpiece I created from my daughter's old bicycle. 
the makeover video is on my channel and you can also watch the other makeover videos as well in the tv unit we have ample storage and this mat purchased 9 years ago has been carefully maintained as for the show pieces i have mostly chosen traditional items The oil painting you see here was done by me 22 years ago. I love painting and consider it my passion. I pursued it out of my interest and have never attended any classes. In the other corner, I have something interesting to show you. A DIY waterfall made from discarded cement pot. These flowers I crafted from wall putty. You can watch the making of this project on my channel. Sitting beside this waterfall and reading books, it seems like we are sitting in the nature. This stand is from our old house where I lived in a joint family of 18 members for 8 years. It was a happy home and 10 years ago, we moved here. Among all the interior plants, this snake plant is thriving exceptionally well. Coming to this corner, I have shelf from IKEA styled with a few DIYs. This DIY planter is made from PVC pipe. I have planted ZZ plant in it because they are easy to maintain and they will thrive with less light and water. I saw this center table design on some poster and customized it. So we got this table within the budget and I have kept the styling minimal. On this wall is my all time favorite acrylic painting which I created after 13 years. The frame adds a royal touch to the wall. Don't you think the true effort lies in making a house a home? The sofa is from at home and was purchased at a discounted price. And further, next to the living space, we have the dining area on the left, while to the right are two rooms and a common washroom. First, I will show you the dining area, which features many DIY projects that give it a restaurant-like look on a budget. This dining table is 10 years old. And I have added a DIY runner and mats that I hand painted using fabric colors. The chair covers are also handmade by me by using Cora cloth. The beautiful candle stand is another DIY project I created from completely waste materials. And again the video is on my channel. The wall hanging crafted from wooden spoons and skewers was made by me. Additionally, the beautiful fire tire hanging light made from bamboo baskets is also a DIY project which is made by me. Doesn't it all make for a budget friendly decor? Beside the dining table, we have this. The center table is customized to match the one in the living area. The wall clock is a special piece made from a coconut shell. Sofa with a cover purchased from Divine Trends. This wall is textured and painted in a neutral color. Decoration is not complete without natural plants. This DIY planter along with an old lamp holder 
and an oil painting made by me adds to the decor. I have also placed a cute kettle with candles here. This is a DIY golden leaf made from a foam sheet by me which received a lot of likes and this long vase is from at home purchase during a discount sale and again the ebo oil painting was done by me in high school This low table from IKEA is typically used for enjoying our meals together Coming to the other side of the dining hall, we have this TV unit. And in these 10 years, we have not switched it on even once. Can you tell if this is a showpiece a store bought one or a DIY? Yes, it's a DIY peacock showpiece made by me using wall putty. Another DIY project features fairies enjoying near a glue gun waterfall. This beautiful Krishna idol is from Guru Ayur. and the gold plated rama idol completes the display these are my pencil sketches opposite to the dining area is the puja room i painted this table with oil colors to match the sofa since this video is getting lengthy please continue watching home tour part 2 where i will cover the puja room kitchen three bedrooms the balcony home theater and the outdoor area If you appreciate my efforts to style my home in a budget friendly way with DIY projects please subscribe to my channel for more updates on home decor please like and subscribe as shooting and editing this video single handedly took a lot of effort if you like any part of my video please leave a comment your feedback and support are very precious to me Thank you very much for watching till the end. See you in the next video. Till then take care, be happy and bye-bye.